Hey guys, today the weather is halfway decent, so we're going on an adventure. Just Bonnie, Emma, and I, we're gonna hit the kayaks. Let's go. All right, we're all set up, but what's wrong, Peanut? Show Daddy your leg. Are you all wet? Mama is going to get you another pair of pants because you fell in the water, huh? Well, she didn't fall necessarily in the lake water. This uh, stuff right down here is just sopping wet. It's like a sponge. So she fell down in that and soaked her pants before the excursion. We are going to change her pants. Start out dry, right? It's more comfortable. All right, here comes mom to the rescue with some fresh pairs of pants. And more snacks. Oh, and more snacks. All right, we're gonna get her changed up, then we're gonna launch these kayaks and be on our way. All right, how you doing, peanut butter? Kayaking. We are kayaking. She's loving it. Where's mama? Hey, there she is. All right, we are going to head off that direction. Be careful, peanut. I got a fishing pole here. And she almost grabbed the hook. That wouldn't have been good. So in years past, uh, let me see, pointing right back over my head, there's three cottonwood trees, three or four, and Bonnie and I have found some high brush cranberries in the past. So we're gonna head over there and we're gonna try to find some, see if there's any left. Most all the berries are done for. So we'll see if we get lucky and have an adventure. <coughs> You find a good landing spot, hun? Not particularly. <laughs> Still working on it. Well, caught that on video. <laughs> you know, out of all the videos that Zach and I have put out, we really don't make many mistakes as far as blunders, actual bloopers. You guys just caught the first one on video. We're family. We're gonna be doing lots of dumb stuff together. My foot, my left foot, soaking wet. Yeah, it went in over the top, soaked. But you know what? We're gonna live with it. It's not that cold out today. I don't have any extra socks and the boots soaked anyways. And we're not going on a long hike. Ugh. Just frustrating. <laughs> okay, let's go find some berries. What are we looking for? Um, blueberries. Blueberries, we're looking for cranberries. Mm -hmm. We're hiking on a little beaver trail, huh? Mama found some high brush cranberries. Let's take a look at them. And there's literally like two on here. You like it? What do you think? No. Yummy tummy. Well, there you heard it. Yummy tummy. And those were the only two in sight. No, wait, I see more. And hold still. I didn't even realize why Bonnie actually wanted to pick these. Um, I thought it was just kind of the 
adventure. But she said, hey, if we can get enough, we can make some homemade cranberry jelly for Thanksgiving. And I'm on board with that. So we're gonna scour this little area through here and grab what's left over and make some cranberry jelly or you know, jam or whatever you sauce, whatever you put on your Thanksgiving meal. They are sparse in here, but uh, normally the, good the mission for me now, I've just got cranberry jelly on my mind, so we're gonna pick all of them. We're gonna get enough. Okay, Emma and I are in the water. Hang on, I'm just floating away and ready to go. And Mama, Bonnie, is going to launch her kayak. Here we go. This is why you wear mud boots. Very nicely done. All right, we will be headed home. We got a fair amount of berries. I don't know if it's enough for a big old batch, but- uh, Definitely not enough for a big old batch. <laughs> it's enough for what we want to do for the three of us for Thanksgiving, because I believe we will be the only ones out here for Thanksgiving, unless there's some crazy rich relative or friend that wants to join us on a ski plane. Okay, we made it back. There was a few other mishaps that uh, I didn't catch on camera. Going back to stepping in the water, you know what? I've got wool socks on. I've got a layer of polypropylene socks and then wool socks. Great thing to keep in mind if you're gonna go out doing anything outdoors where your feet might get wet, because my feet are warm. The one is soaking wet, but it's totally warm. On to the other mishap. You saw that I had a fishing pole with me. I got a fishing pole here. And I've had a lot of people tell me with the depth of our lake, at the deepest we've heard, it's about 80 to 100 foot deep. Um, I haven't verified that myself, but a good source has told me that. So everybody says, oh, if you have any kind of trout or, you know, Dolly Varden lake trout or whatever, you've got some big fish in your lake if it's that deep. So I'm like, hey, I'm not a fisherman. I don't know which is which. So I took a big old chunk of hot dog, fishing pole, out to the deepest part, drop a line. I'm trolling. I'm thinking to myself, this probably isn't the best thing to do while I've got Emma in my lap, right? So I didn't catch the big one. What happened was, as I'm paddling along, I dug in to get a good paddle. My pole wasn't secure where it was. Plop into the water. Genius. The rod, the reel, the line. And here we were thinking you were done. Uh, I knew, I knew. I said to myself, self, you shouldn't be doing this with Emma in the kayak. Go do it on your own. Uh, but I didn't listen to myself, so I lost the vision pole. Uh, not a huge loss. It can be replaced, thankfully. But now it is at the bottom of the lake somewhere out there. I wonder what other kind of stuff is out there. All in all, a fun day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and comment and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next video. The Monte Brothers. <laughs>